Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, unitary matrices. Suppose I have a unitary matrix, a unitary matrix U. Now remember that to, to be unitary, uh, the uh, conjugate transpose of U, uh, sometimes called U star, times U uh, must be equal to the identity matrix I. Okay. All right, so suppose I've got uh, a square matrix A. Suppose I've got a square matrix A. Uh, that is similar to a unitary matrix U. Uh, I posit that uh, the inverse of A will be similar to the conjugate transpose of A, A star. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show. Okay, I'm going to show that if A is similar to a unitary matrix U, then the inverse of A is similar to its conjugate transpose. Okay. So first I'm going to set up the similarity relationship between A and U. Okay, so for similarity, the inverse of S times A times S is equal to unitary matrix U. Uh, S is some other matrix uh, that uh, allows this relationship between A and U. That is, uh, the A is similar to U through S. Okay. Well now what I want to do is uh, isolate A so I've got S inverse times A times S is equal to U. To isolate A, uh, I propose multiplying the left-hand side of this equation by S on the left and on the right by S inverse. Uh, so too do I multiply the right-hand side of the equation. On the left, uh, I multiply by S and on the right, I multiply by S inverse. So multiplying both sides of of this equation by S on the left and by S inverse on the right, I obtain this equation. So what this does is it isolates A on the left. So on the left hand side I've got A. On the right I still have S times U times S inverse. Okay, so now I'm going to take the conjugate transpose of both sides of this equation. So I'll say therefore, uh, A star, a conjugate transpose of A. Now when I take the conjugate transpose of the right-hand side of this equation, uh, the direction will reverse, uh, the order will reverse. Okay, so what I'll have here is uh, S inverse conjugate transpose of that times U star times S, S star. Okay, so taking the conjugate transpose of both sides of this, I wind up with that. Okay. Um, now, uh, using this first equation, uh, taking the inverse of both sides of this, what I will have is U inverse being equal to, uh, when I take the inverse of both sides of this, uh, more particularly when I take the inverse of the left-hand side of that equation, uh, the order will reverse. So that will be S inverse, that's the inverse of this S, uh, times A inverse, times the inverse of S inverse, which is S. Okay? And so based on that, uh, based on that, uh, I'm going to rewrite, I'm going to rewrite this equation as A star, A star is equal to uh, S inverse star uh, times a U star, but uh, to be unitary, a U star must be equal to U inverse, so instead of writing U star, uh, I'm going to replace that with what I just obtained for U inverse, which is right here, that is S inverse times A inverse times S uh, times this S star. Okay, so what I have at this point is uh, this relationship. Uh, and again, uh, U star is equivalent to U inverse, so I just replaced this U star with S inverse A inverse times S. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to do some regrouping here. So I'm going to pick up on the next board where I leave off here. Okay, so what I'll have is A star uh, is equal to S inverse star times uh, S inverse times A inverse times S S star. Uh, just rewriting that uh, previous equation uh, with a little bit of uh, regrouping or uh, removing some parentheses. Uh, so it's uh, basically the same as that last equation that I just erased, but I uh, removed some parentheses because there's some regrouping that I'm going to be doing here. Okay, so what I have here is A star is equal to the star and the inverse can switch positions. So S star inverse of that times S inverse times A inverse, times S, times S star. Okay, now, uh, finally doing the regrouping, I've got uh, A star is equal to, uh, I'm going to group these two together, and what I'll have is S, S star, the inverse of that. Uh, notice that the order changed here. S now comes first, and S star comes second. And when I want to lump these together into one, group of parentheses where I'm taking the inverse, the order changes like that. So I've got times A inverse times S S star, grouping together the uh, the uh, uh, this pair of matrices here. Okay, so now based upon this relationship, uh, let me introduce a new variable, a new matrix, I'll call it uh, matrix T, where T will be S times S star. Okay, S S star, S S star. Okay, so in which case, I can rewrite this as A star is equal to uh, T inverse times A inverse times T. And by virtue of this relationship, I can conclude, uh, I can conclude that A inverse is similar to the conjugate transpose of A, A star. And there you have it.